to Mr. Sudhakar Rao from Gemini Developers. Well, visionary businessman and Indian billionaire, Mr. Sudhakar Rao, chairman of the Gemini Group, was born in a small town in Tamil Nadu in India and went on to pursue his electrical engineering graduation from the reputed National Institute of Technology in Varangal in 1982. Brought up in Mumbai, Mr. Sudhakar Rao started his entrepreneurial journey with Sivert, I hope I pronounced the, the name right, a company specialized in non-destructive testing for the oil and gas sector and went on to be a leader in this category across India, Qatar, UA, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Cyprus, Sudan, Singapore, and Malaysia. And in 2012-2013, Sivert was acquired by Bureau Veritas in a landmark deal. Thank you. So I get five marks again for the right pronunciation. They say magic happens outside your comfort zone, but it takes faith and courage to venture outside. That sums up Mr. Sudhakar Rao's journey from a newcomer to a business tycoon. Just four years after his graduation in his late 20s, Mr. Rao quit the relative safety of a corporate life to pursue his dream and entrepreneurial projects. His vision, perseverance, commitment, and faith in people led to the exponential growth of his venture. May I please request Mrs. Shishir to hand him over the award. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Assalamu alaikum and uh, a good evening to every one of you here. I am indeed uh, become very nostalgic recollecting my past and uh, it has been a very uh, arduous and very long journey. Only for me it was a benefit that I got into business at the age of uh, 28 or so when I got married also. So it was a double uh, whammy for me to manage uh, both the things. However, uh, the lady luck has been uh, very good. Of course, it goes without saying that any business, one must definitely have a clear vision and be committed and do hard work. All these things have been told already by all the other awardees also. Everyone mentioned about passion. Yes, passion is absolute must for uh, achieving any success in any field. Along with the passion, if one gets obsessed, then the success in business is for sure. Unless you have, I mean, at least my experience, I had only one point agenda, and that was to be successful in the business. I'm talking about my uh, version one, which was uh, what uh, our MC had uh, told you about. I don't know your name. About you. And um, it was a company which we had built uh, with uh, starting from the scratch, as they say. It is a very difficult thing to be a first generation entrepreneur, of course. Uh, it's another thing to be, you know, born with uh, silver spoons, etc. But for a first-generation entrepreneur with uh, almost zero capital and to build a company across nine countries and with 2,000 people, of course, I've slept, I've uh, uh, spent many sleepless nights and it requires a lot of grit and determination to do it. And in the real estate uh, business, which we got into just about uh, yeah, less than three years, uh, we have now... Um, already into our second project, which is going, to, which I promise that will be a jewel in the business bay. It's a 29-story tower. And of course, we are going to have much more, many, many more projects to come up in Dubai as well. Dubai. Thank you. Yes, I have a list of questions. And my name is Roop. Here, thank you. OK, so actually, my first question is, is quite a hard-hitting one. Where do you see the future of Germany in the UAE, specifically when you compare yourselves, I'm talking about the real estate development, when you see yourself with the likes of MR, Damak, Azizi, and Danube, and just mind you that Mr. Rizwan and Adela are sitting right there. <laughs> so make sure that you give. Yes, sir, no, yes. Are you going to give a diplomatic answer? No, 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 no diplomacy. Okay. First of all, since you told me no diplomacy, I do not compare Germany with anybody else. We have our own vision, our own goals to accomplish. And those are not very simple goals. I am, at this point of time, you may mark my words, I am of course dreaming. I am of course dreaming of uh, building a downtown Las Vegas in Dubai. It may, it may uh, sound very ridiculous today, but we are going to do it. 
This is the kind of vision we have for Germany. Thank wow. You. Wow. But don't you try to do it. And also to this, uh, in this direction, we are uh, trying to go public and uh, generate funds that will be required uh, for this kind of uh, aims and goals, you know. Perfect. My next question is, you know, one of the most important aspects of being a leader is instilling the same passion that you have in your team members. So how do you ensure that the same happens? How do you, you know, yeah, instill leader, or reflect that, that kind yeah, of yeah. passion in... Yeah, yeah. A leader, a team leader is what the team makes of the leader. So I've been very, very lucky to have wonderful team for the last 25, 30 years. And my, all my credit, all my visionary leader award, etc., everything goes to my team, which existed at various points of time in my life. So this can happen only if you evoke the same kind of emotion and passion in the other person who are obviously working for you, primary benefit, and then of course their own needs. But with the passion, the complexion and the whole thing changes where everyone feels at home and they try to deliver the best. Okay. Now, because you, you, know, you also started as an, as an entrepreneur and then over a period of time, you've dabbled into so many business ventures and different kind of businesses. Do you believe in work-life balance? I hope Mr. Idris is listening. Where My is team members will not agree with me if I say that uh, I am having a perfect uh, life-work balance. But uh, yes, life-work balance is an absolute must. Uh, to be successful in the business. Let, it, let us be selfish to say that only our game, uh, aim is to be successful in the business for which you need to have a balance of work, life, family, everything. Perfect. And I have been very, very lucky to have a great family support which includes my brother over there and uh, my parents yes. and of course He's my wife. He's making sure that you say his name. Huh? He's making sure that you say his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can come along. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, sir. And many, many congratulations and all the best for all your future endeavors. Thank you, guys. Okay. So we are already on the, on the 